Hey everyone, just wanted to share some um, stats on the 2024 Ionix 6 SE standard range. I uh, just wanted to show you post charging what my stats look like. So you can see, you know, I've, I've done about 30 miles with an average of five miles per kilowatt. Uh, this is mixed highway and uh, street driving. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. And it shows 270 miles of range left. You know, and this again is the standard range version of the Ionic 6 SE with about a, I think it has a 53 kilowatt hour battery. So really impressive, I would say. Um, if you look in the bottom left, it shows that 89% uh, of the battery is left. Uh, it's on level three regen and it's an eco mode, um, 64 degrees and sunny outside. Let me show you another interesting screen here. This is in the uh, standard entertainment center. If you hit the EV button, you get this screen, which talks about energy stats and the like. But if you click on this button right here, it shows you, you know, in stats on, you know, charging, it says that if you were to charge, for example, with a DC charger, um, it would take 17 minutes to get back up to 100% charge but on an AC charger, 40 minutes, 240 volt. But what I was gonna show you is this electricity use statistics page. So in the last drive that I did, uh, let me actually go back to this screen, and you can actually change the stats by scrolling on this wheel, right? So the previous screen was after recharging. This is the entire car's life. It's pretty new, only 536 miles on it, but. On its life, it's been doing 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. But on the last drive, we did 8.7 miles at 4.6 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. And it shows you the actual energy usage there. And so 92% went to the drivetrain. Actually, that's actually driving the car. Only 2% went to climate and 6% went to the actual electronics. So this is really interesting. And if you play with the climate, for example, over here, and say you jack up the heat, for example, make it like 80 degrees, you can see the energy usage going up, right? So that's pretty much what we expect, but as we drop the temperature, say to 70, is when we're gonna kick on the air conditioning and you could see the energy climbing again. But if we turn it off entirely, actually, if we hit the, the climate button, then we get this screen and you can see AC and heat are, you know, on and off functions. If I turn AC off entirely, right, you can still hear the fan, but then if you go back to the energy usage button, it shows that climate is using zero percent or only, I mean, sorry, only 2%, zero kilowatt hours because neither AC nor heat is on. Just wanted to share those few stats. Thank you.